what is going on guys today i wanted to review the uh st dupont mini jet um this is a uh lighter that i received a couple questions on um for those who do not know st dupont is a uh higher and lighter brand um they make their uh higher and lighters and um in france uh however they're uh, newer lines such as the mini jet the maxi jet and uh, the fly extreme are going to be made in china um, that's not to take away from the product itself because it's still a spectacular product um, with regards to build quality and um, the dealer network that they uh, that c dupont has um, so uh, just want to go over some pros some cons some alternatives um, as well as some pricing um, and hopefully you guys uh, take something away from this um, so to jump right in the pros are um, <laughs> I guess the first pro is that it is so pocketable I mean you look at this lighter right here um, this is the Colibri uh, Daytona which at the time before buying the ST DuPont um, I thought this was pretty pocketable. Um, however, as you can see, um, this ST DuPont is about half the size uh, that the uh, Colibri is. Um, now, not to take away from any of these lighters, I will say that I am not easy on my lighters whatsoever. Um, the ST DuPont, for instance, has um, been through a wash cycle twice, um, <laughs> as well as a as well as drying. I mean, I tend to leave it in my pockets um, and just not notice that they're being washed until I hear them banging around in the dryer. Um, whereas the Daytona is definitely uh, much more noticeable. Um, however, I do tend to, to drop these, to put them in my pockets with change and keys. Um, you know, so as far as durability goes, um, I will say that um, while we're not here comparing the Colibri Daytona today, um, the ST DuPont by far holds up much better. Um, so let me get this out of the way right quick. Um, so another uh, interesting um, pro to this particular lighter is that unlike the their main lines, so the, the iconic lighters that have the ping sounds, um, these lighters do not require an adapter to refill and you typically don't have to use a, uh, a ST DuPont butane although you can I believe they have the blue canisters for this particular lighter um, but if I were to fill them up with just a regular um, four or five times uh, uh, purifier filtered uh, butane it wouldn't have any issues uh, with the lighting or with uh, ongoing performance. Um, talking about performance, so it's it's a really small lighter. However, it does give a very uh, strong, very attractive flame, and it will always light. Well, it missed one, but usually lights consecutively pretty pretty nicely. Um, so aside from that, um, going off onto some cons, I will say that it does have a very small fuel tank. I'm usually able to light two or three, uh, cigars, um, and keep them lit during, um, during the smoking sessions, um, before I'm having, I'm finding myself, uh, having refill, um. <clears throat> which for me it's not an issue uh i probably smoke on busy day probably two or three cigars um but it will get me throughout the entire day um without an issue i've never had this lighter run out uh of butane during the day um while i have it out in the town um but it's just something to um to keep in mind so aside from that, I will find that because um, of its of it being a single flame, that it will get quite hot when I'm trying to light up like larger uh, 
larger gauge cigars only because it does take me a while to light them up with a single jet. Um, but again, if it's almost anywhere, um, I will even argue that uh, people who like carrying the lighters in their uh, fifth pocket in their jeans, you know, like that little coin pocket, um, this fits in right there just fine. Um, and I mean, I, I don't really know too many other lighters with this much power that will do just that. Uh, <clears throat> outside of that, um, as for alternatives, I mean, I guess the biggest competitor that this has is a uh, regular like big lighter, the ones that you buy for two bucks. Um, I've seen people um, of two schools of thoughts with this, where some people say that a Bic is just as good or that you shouldn't light a Bic or you shouldn't light a cigar with a Bic. Um, Bics use butane just the same as most other lighters that uh, cigars, uh, cigar smokers uh, use. So I don't really see there being an issue with, um, with a Bic lighter. Um, again, the Colibri is another alternative. And then um, if you're looking for a soft flame, the ST DuPont Lignite 8 would be in this category. Although, um, when we talk about pricing right now, I will tell you that um, the Lignite 8 is about a $400 uh, lighter, um, which is usually not a um, not something most cigar smokers are going to gravitate towards. Um, whereas this MSRP is usually around $100. Um, but if you're willing to uh, to look around, to uh, you know, just wait a bit, um, you'll eventually find a pretty good deal on these. Uh, for instance, I found this one for forty two dollars on Amazon a couple years back. Um, whereas with the uh, whereas with Daytona, I probably spent fifty dollars. Um, now, again, it's not to take away from the Daytona because the Daytona is a uh, larger lighter, has a bigger fuel tank, um, and has its own set of pros and cons. But for the quality, this is a serviceable lighter. Um, it will always uh, it will always click just nice. Um, I, I don't have like any um, squishy feeling on it whatsoever. Whereas with this one, with uh, this lighter over the years, um, I have started to see that that this um, this mechanism here is starting to feel a bit harder and definitely like squishy to the touch. There's some play in it, um, but also it does give a wider flame. So. Um, it's kind of one of those situations where it's like uh, pick your poison, but I really wanted to make this video to kind of highlight that um, SD two ponts are definitely a um, an, an option um, for those looking for a fifty to eighty dollars uh, uh, lighter. Um, definitely in that price range, I would say that this is one of the better lighters um, that's that will last you for years to come. Um, and that being said, if there's any questions or concerns, let me know in the comments. And if you really like this video, subscribe.